so I'm really new to live and been having some technical difficulties uh, until this video. So I'm going to try again. Uh, so uh, the goal of this video is really to go over kind of some tips if you're going to try the marathon row. Uh, so if you follow the CrossFit Games, you might have realized that they did a marathon row 42,000 plus meters uh, last night. And um, I want you to think of this, if you're going to do this, you should think of it like running a marathon. Usually people don't run, go run a marathon without training. Uh, it does happen, but usually people don't. Uh, so the rowing machine is similar. If you're really not that comfortable on the rowing machine, if you're still working on your form, um, or if uh, a 5K or a 10K is pretty challenging for you, think about whether you want to do a marathon. It might be something that you want to train up to. However, if you are going to do a marathon row, here are some tips for you. So first is pacing. Uh, you want to pick a pace that's comfortable for you. So I, if you've rode a 1K or 2K or 5K, you should know what that pace is um, for your 500 meters. Uh, you really want to kind of pick a split time or a pace that is comfortable for you that you're going to be able to maintain for two plus hours. Uh, so that's the first goal. Uh, second is a, something called a power 10. So rowing in an actual boat, um, coxswains or the person who's yelling at you and steering the boat will often uh, do something called a power 10. And a power 10 is designed for a few reasons. Um, one is it gets you, if you're behind, if you're a boat behind, it helps you catch up. Uh, two, if you're ahead, you can keep your lead. Uh, three, sometimes it's a mental check. Like, hey, my, my rowers are looking kind of sluggish. Let me pick you guys back up. Let's do a power 10, get your head back in the game. So in this case, you're really using it as a get your head in the game. I would recommend doing it, doing a power 10, uh, roughly every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that kind of thing. Uh, figure out when it's comfortable for you. If you need to do like a power five at less increments, that's fine. Uh, but the purpose of a power five or power 10 is really not to speed up while you're rowing, but to keep that recovery when you're coming back to the catch uh, nice and the same pace. You can pick it up by two or four strokes per minute, uh, but you're just trying to keep it nice and simple. So if I'm rowing, if this is my normal row throughout it, then my power 10 will be the same on the way back, but a little bit more explosive on the way back that way where I'm pushing with my legs. So power 10, you're not speeding up. You're keeping your recovery the same so that you can still, the point of the recovery is to breathe. So you're still getting that breathing going through there. Uh, but at the same time, you're basically pushing a little bit harder, a little deeper, mentally kind of refocusing yourself. And the third part is form. Uh, pay attention to your form. I recommend really paying attention as you get more tired. Uh, when you do power fives, power tens, or like for the three or four strokes after those, those are great times to kind of really focus. Hey, am I slouching? Am I setting up? Uh, am I really rounding my back? What am I doing? Just pay attention to your body. Uh, a lot of people uh, I saw last night uh, in the games ended up, instead of bending at their legs because they were trying to give their hamstrings a break, because you remember they did more exercises before this, uh, more activity, uh, they decided to kind of make it all about their back and that's gonna hurt your back. Uh, so try not to injure your shoulder, your back, keep your form good throughout your entire stroke. Uh, so those are my three tips. Uh, additionally, uh, Concept2, the makers of the rowers uh, that were in the CrossFit Games, um, they came out with a bunch of videos yesterday doing a great job getting some information out there uh, where you can put your hand hold. Uh, if you wanna grab some water, you can hold in a different spot. Um, seat cushions that they make, what you can do to kind of keep your hands from callousing too much, because usually you'll build up calluses as you row more, uh, but if you're going straight in, it's gonna, it's pretty much gonna beat up your hands. Uh, so they try to give you some tips. Uh, I'd recommend checking them out as well. Um, and, but if you remember, if you saw it from last night, uh, Lucas Esslinger, who's the guy who uh, won it last night, he basically looked nice and calm and relaxed throughout it, even his last 500 meters. So that's really what you're trying to do. You're trying to stay as calm and relaxed as you can and really just kind of focus on making your first stroke like your last stroke. Those are my tips. I hope to help you out uh, and let me know if you've got any questions.